Okay, so, hello guys, it's me, Gaming Star here, and today I am back from the episode of Legends of the Wind Waker HD. Last time we had completed the Wind Temple and, re and restored the power to the Master Sword. And this time we're gonna go ahead and, you know, do a couple of, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do, um, get the Triforce Shards. Triforce Chart, um, Treasure Shards, so we can find what the, tri the Triforce Shards are and all that. Triforce Pieces. And also, um, get Heart Pieces, the, the remaining Heart Pieces and, rema you know, remain side quests. This time I'm gonna go ahead and. Well, go talk to Tingle because I need to uh, decipher the, the, the Triforce charts that I have so far. Um, you have a Tingle bottle, do you not? Uh, no, you're not really a fan of it, do you? Not worry about such things. Tingle bottle, sort of complicated, I suppose. <laughs> do, do not go away if you're wait. No, really. I mean, it's quite amusing, the Tingle bottle. I mean, no, no, really. I would not expect you to. <laughs> oh, okay. These are Tingle's brothers. Yes, he has bros. He, <laughs> this is heavy. It's just between you and me. But this guy has another brother. If that guy could spin his thing instead of me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fairy, it's been long to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? No, I'm here to decipher charts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm? That fragged must be sent. Sir, you have found the chart? <laughs> Splendid, show me, show me. Why? Why can't you read this chart in the screen? It's impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher for you? Sure. Fine. Oh, you're tingle, tingle, kuralim, <laughs> become readable. We got a chart decipher. Now you can find the piece of Triforce. Look for your C charts in the map screen and check its location. Decipher another for you. Don't have enough rupees, sir. Hmm. Mr. Fairy, you must try to find treasure. It's like the map screen. Go to the snip up. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll come back here later to decipher more. I just want to decipher at least one of them. Okay. So the power to repel the master force back. Let me see which one he deciphered. He deciphered number one, right? I also got a couple of treasures as well in the island. Triforce chart number one. That is in the Starbelt Archipelago. From the looks of it. So let's go back to Starbelt Archipelago real quick. Uh, oops. Dragon Bruce Down is a good location to go to. I actually okay. Speaking of, I now have I now have twenty um gold feather, golden feathers. So now I can go ahead and go back to Dragon Roost real quick and give them to that to that um one retail that needs them. So let's go ahead and do that real quick while we're here. And now we can actually explore places we couldn't go to now that we have the hook shot as well. So we can do a whole bunch of things now that we have the hook shot. Oops. Why did I think that was a good idea? I don't even know, honestly. So yeah, we um So we have a lot of things to do in this episode. We're gonna do a lot of side questing and all that. Just a lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, getting the Triforce charts, hard pieces and all that. That's what I'm gonna do this episode. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, Triforce charts and hard pieces. That's basically gonna be my plan for this episode. All that stuff. Hey Prince Kamali. But you know Medley, don't you? I think something weird happened to her. It stinks too, because I went all the trouble picking this flower to surprise her with it. She's not around. Aw. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. But, you know, she is her own destiny, so I'm very sorry about that. Okay, so I believe one of these, one of them should actually, I think it's this guy, I'm not entirely sure. It should be this guy, I'm not in. I heard that your trial is nice and done, you must be wary. There's a lot there. I don't know which guy it is, but I'm trying to find the guy that, that you know, the guy that he needs them. So I'm trying to find them. It should be one of the guys, I think it's this one. Let me see. Hey, I know you. Yeah, you're an adventurer guy. Something from the island island? Actually, it's Simon, right? Full of adventuring. Do you happen to find a gold feather? My girlfriend, she wanted one of those for so long time. And actually, I kind of promised that I sent her one, too. I have a whole bunch of them here. Hey, that's my girlfriend wants a golden feather. So how many of those do you have? So you really are going to let me have 20 of those? Sure. 
Really? Are you sure? Yes. I'm gonna stink these little beauties in a letter and send them off right away. I'm gonna tell you. Seriously. It's not much to accept this. Oh! So then. I'm really rooting for you, your adventure I guess, to do out there. So he will give you a heart piece. Um, the letter will actually come in later. And later, the heart pieces, they will um, show up in one of the letters. Yep. Alright, so that's pretty much it for that guy. We're gonna go ahead and wait until the letter comes in eventually. Let me check for the next area. Alright, so the next one we have is in... We have treasure shirts. Ah, Alcet Island again. So we have a few in Alcet Island as well. Especially with the 500 hits. I don't know. I think I might do it off screen because, man, that takes ages to do. So I think I might do it off screen anyway. We also have treasure shirts as well. So we're going to go ahead and check out the treasure shirts and all that type of stuff. And, uh, yeah, eventually the letter will come out. It'll be in the next day afterwards. So let's go over to the archipelago. To start the archipelago. Archipelago, whatever the fuck it's pronounced, I don't even know. Let's go there because one of the Triforce the Triforce shards should be in there. Or in the uh, Greyfish Isles, actually. It's actually in Greyfish Isles, my mistake. Oops. Alright, let's go back to the Greyfish Isles. It's actually Greyfish Isles, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I'm an idiot, well. Okay. Actually, speaking of Great Fish Isles, we can actually go ahead and trade the sea flower that we have for an exotic flower. And then the exotic flower for a sickle moon flag, and then. Yeah, pretty much. A pinwheel in Mother Child Isles, and then we're gonna do a sickle moon flag and all that. It's kind of difficult to say the least. Alright, let's check out the, um, the Triforce Chard. Okay. Ah, I see it. There it is. Good. There we go. Exotic flower. For sea flower for an exotic flower. We need six more. There we go. Let's go ahead and trade the sea flower. Have a sea flower if you want it. Sure. Twenty five. Thanks. Oh, we got an exotic flower. I wonder how Gorons are even here in the first place. It's kind of weird to see because, yeah, they're more land creatures than anything. It's kind of weird how this is. All right. So the next um, thing we got, we have another Triforce chart I need to decipher. Triforce charts. Let me see. All right. Let me check the incredible chart. Okay. There is another Triforce chart. And, it, and there's also a couple of Triforce charts as well around here. Tingle's chart definitely does really help a lot, surprisingly enough. <laughs> There's also one in Alsa. There's actually a, a uh, treasure, a uh, Triforce chart in, in, in Alsa. Just kind of odd, but okay. Let's go to Needle, to Needle Rock Isles. One of the ship. There's actually a ship that should have a chart. So let's check. I have a lot of sailing to do in this episode. <laughs> a lot of sailing. Alright, here we go. Let me see. How many heart pieces do I need? Mean? 
There's also the the, um, the trees as well, which we'll get into. Wait a minute. There you go, I see it. I think. Here we go, alright. This guy over here. It's actually this one. There we go. This one should have a Triforce um, chart. This one should have a chart. Ooh, there we go. Alright, so next up. There is a... Okay, next up, there is a Triforce Shard in Stonewatcher Island? Alright, let's go ahead and check out Stonewatcher Island real quick. Then we're gonna go to Bomb Island. We're gonna go to Mother Child Isles and uh, trade the pinwheel. Exactly for a pinwheel. And then the sickle moon flag. And all that. Okay, here we go. Now that we have the golden bracelets, we can go ahead and carry this side of the way. Nice. I think it's an enemy kind of trial thing. Right, here we go.
Good. All right, there we go. Excellent. Five more. Okay, let me see about heart pieces. Let me see about treasure charts. Hmm. Alright, treasure chart number four is in Southern Fairy Island. Right there. Yep. Then we'll go back to Alset. Here we go. We got a piece of heart. Nice. Okay, next treasure chart. Treasure chart number five, Foreign Fairy Island. Best shortcut. Power of the gods. Here we go. There we go back to Tingle Island to go ahead and decipher the other Triforce charts that I happen to have. And there you go. Hopefully. Alright, here we go. To the Foreign Fairy Island. And also very conveniently, as well, um, pretty close by, which is in Bird's Peak Rock, um, Bird's Peak Rock, there's actually a, um, Triforce chart, apparently, so, we'll go ahead and do that later. Treasure chart number five. Okay, here we go. Then there's also the, um, the ghost ship, which, oh boy, that's a story for another day.
here we go. This one's a piece of heart. Yes! Alright. Good. Okay, hang on. Let's check your chart. Let me check. That one is in... Let me see what I see. I, I don't know which island this is in. I believe that is in... Windfall. Yeah, so let's go back to Windfall real quick. That's where the next treasure shard, um, treasure chart, treasure is at. Then we're gonna go back to Elsa. And you guys remember the pig that we got in the first episode, the, the very first, yeah, very first episode, like almost like almost twenty episodes ago. The um, you know, the piggy, the black pig that we that we also got for, got for the, for that neighbor. Well, we can now actually uh, see that pig again, and that pig is actually important for the next heart piece. So that's why. Um, let me go ahead and get this treasure first before anything else. There you go. Alright. What do I got here? Oh, nice. Okay, the letter. So it looks like we got the other piece of heart as well. Damn, we're getting pieces of heart like insane right now. Mm, got a letter. All right, let's check it out. Dear Pilot, recently received some golden feathers from my boyfriend, who mentioned you. If I'm something of a bird enthusiast, so I know how hard it must have been to get all those feathers. I want you to be as happy as we are. But I'm sending you this heart as a token of our affection. Hey, piece of heart, baby! I need one more to get in heart container. Woo. All right. There we go. And then treasure turn number 35. That is in... Let me see where that's at. That could be in Butter Child Isles. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna check check it out. All right. Boo! <laughs> I can't get over like the like the disco guy be like boo at the bottom. With the last little note. That's awesome. I don't know why. I just find it so funny to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm weird like that. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some more flowers. We got some more flowers. So we can plant 14 flowers. Yes! We got the magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expand rupees unless you take... Expand rupees from an enemy or hazard. So yeah, of course, that's what we get. We can also get more, um, more stuff as well, which I'm gonna get. We're gonna get more stuff later. I'm gonna do it off screen because that's actually kind of a pain to ask to do. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Thanks. I got it! So this thing right here, let me show you what it does. Here it is. You basically get a nice barrier around you, and basically it just it allows you to basically be invincible for a while until you take until you get hit and have it. It does spend your rupees though. It's similar to the magic armor from Twilight Princess. It's basically you know the from Twilight Princess magic armor. That's literally what it is. So yeah, if you want to. Know. All right, let me go ahead and plant some more flowers around this this desert it's place. Okay, let's go get more, um, town flowers. So yeah, I'm gonna do the... matter how far you've gone to the trade sequence but as long as you do like you know 
pretty much get as much as possible, then yeah, you're good to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna trade the, um, I am going to trade the, um, the exotic flower I have later on. I'm gonna do the rest of it off screen because man, that's a pain in the ass to go just traveling all around the sea. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it off screen so you guys don't have to see me um, go through that shit. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna do it off screen. So you guys can go ahead and all the products that you get. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the rest of the trade sequence. All right, let's go ahead and put the flowers up here. Goody. Okay, let's see more flower spots. There should be more around here, if I recall. I beg not to talk to you. What the hell? All right, let me go ahead and see. I don't think I have enough yet, do I? We're gonna need more flowers. Hi. You have to at least plant 14 around town. On the outside. Alright, let me see. Okay. There we go. So far I got one, two. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Yes. So far I have 10 of them. So far I have 10 of them. I need 4 more left around. Um, do I have enough? Hold on. We need more. Yep, we need more. So we need at least 14 around town. I have like at least 10 of them. At least 10 to f 10 of them um, put around town. So I'm going to go ahead and put more. There is one more spot. Should be another spot. Let me see. Alright. Is there another spot around here or is that just it? Dancy do nothing in disguise. Why am I cursed so just where am I lacking? What is wrong with me? I just know it. Oh! <laughs> I love it. Alright, here we go. You don't have to do it indoors, but you'll, you can only, you can only do it outdoors. It works outside, really. I don't think I, uh, got it, do I? Don't you think? You have been cooperating with the volunteers, have you? Oh, really? You have? Oh, it never fails to amaze me how kind of thoughtful folks can be. I know, just been hearing kinds of my own. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Nice. Three more heart containers. Hope you continue with the help of joy. Thank you. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna throw this shit away. throw it away all right there we go okay good so i did that which is good i'm uh see where we're gonna go next let's see where we can go next we're gonna go to outside all right let's go to outside uh, let's go ahead and go to outside island and uh i have bait so i'm good to go let's go Let's go ahead and go back there real quick. The rest are all from treasure. The rest of the heart pieces, or the remaining ones, are all from treasure charts. Except for um, do the pretty much do the rest of the trading sequence and the wither trees. Oh boy, those two I think I'm gonna do off screen because those are a pain in the ass. Especially if I have to go back and forth a lot, back to the forest haven into the next um, forest haven and all that shit. So. I'm, a, I'm gonna go ahead and just like do the wood for trees and the tree sequence off screen, so. I'll go ahead and tell you guys once I get the heart pieces, but I'm just like, 
I'm not gonna show you guys those because that's a pain to ass. <laughs> it takes forever, so no, I'm not even gonna do that on um, screen. I'm gonna do it, you know, off screen. Except for a few. So the more tedious ones turning off screen like I said before. Alright, here we go. Here we are, back in Windfall. Okay, here. <laughs> I'll set. Alright. Let me get the bait. I also have your golden bracelets. I think you know. I think you'll see why. It says patches of dirt. That's like definitely pretty important. Just saying it. <laughs> you guys remember this pig? Here he is. He's pretty fucking massive. And you know how much damage he does? Do you know how much damage he does? He does up to like... He does more damage than fucking Ganondorf. It's insane. You're prob he's probably the most powerful enemy. If you hit him, he actually does like three hearts of damage. It's insane. He's really powerful. How about you made it back? Say about you couldn't remember the day you first caught the oinker and brought him over here. Just look at the thing. See, he has a lot bigger than the last time you saw him, and not just bigger, a lot heavier too. Say about is there any way you could pick him up and put him in the walk for me? I'm really patient. My back is kind of killing me. Yeah, sure. Look at this motherfucking pig. This motherfucker. Cry, you stupid! Okay, so here we go. Toss bait, and then he will like start digging like a maniac in this in here. So, I guess you guys remember the whole Dompe thing from Ocarina Time? That's basically kind of what it is like. So, <laughs> yeah. You guys want to know what happens if you hit him? Well, here you go. Three hearts of damage! Put him in the water to cool him down. Yeah. <laughs> Three hearts of damage. That's a lot of damage for a freaking. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage for, um, for that. Like, holy shit. He does a crap ton of damage. No, really, the like. He does a lot of damage, though. It's insane how much damage he does, like. Holy shit. Hey, you stupid fucking pig. Come back here. What? Stupid. Man, Kirmin is a pain in the ass. Look at this motherfucking pig. This pig is so heavy. It's just insane. Ah, there's patches over there. Okay. Come on. Hey. Odito, come here. Thank you. Carajo. All right, here we go. Grab it. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes! Second try, baby! Oh! Yeah! And I need my health back because you, you, you asshole, you literally took my health away, you stupid fucking pig! <gasps> yeah, ha ha! This pig can literally do three hearts of fucking damage. It's insane. No, really. It's insane how much damage that pig can fucking do. Like, holy shit, man. Actually. Sure. So many 500 hits. 500. Yes. That's right. 500 hits. 500 times. 300 times. Okay, how long can I keep this up for? Oh, fuck. Oops.
gonna be here for a while, man. I'm gonna be here for a while. I'll be here for a while, though. <laughs> I'll do this until I get 500 hits. more hits 300 more hits blows damn it well you know what i'll do it you know what i'll do 500 off screen so i'll be here for a while but uh damn it i was close damn it i, I was getting there i was actually getting there man I, I was like halfway there i was halfway to 500 halfway man halfway <laughs> oh my god that's, that's, oh god why uh damn it oh my god all right Anyway, let me see about the next few um, treasures that I got here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trade my, um, let's go over to, let's see what, what's gonna be our next one. Just treasure charts. That's basically it, it's treasure charts. Um, let's see what we got here. Traveling merchants. Okay, so I think we're pretty much gonna do a couple of more. Uh, I think what we're gonna do for the episode is just we're gonna go ahead and do more treasure chart um, thing. All right, so the next one I believe is near Mother and Child Isles. Tingles chart, incredible chart. There is a Triforce piece here, so let's go ahead and check it out. Actually, while we're here, you know what? Let's go ahead and find a Triforce shard here. The piece here. Um, while we're at it. It's gonna be until a while. Damn. Almost. I was halfway to 500. Holy shit. And this time, I didn't forget about the deck of this existence, guys. This time, I didn't forget.
Nope. Alright, let me go ahead and save real quick. Hey, so as for this, you guys want to know what this is? This is the Savage Lambrith. Deep in the never-ending darkness, the golden shard you seek awaits. This is where the Triforce chart is, and you know how long this shit takes? This shit takes forever. You guys really want me to do this? So this is where the next Triforce chart is. You guys really want to go me to do this? Well, I will do it. I will go ahead and start in the next episode if you guys really want me to do it. So anyway, if you guys really want me to go ahead and do the Savage Labyrinth, I will. Which will take a while. I think I'll split up into different episodes because of how long this takes. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. And next time, we're going to go ahead and start off the Savage Labyrinth if you guys really want to. Or I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the... Uh, the 500 uh, slashes hits um, off screen. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start this. Hopefully, um, I don't know if you guys really want to see me do it, but if you guys really want me to see you do this, go ahead, tell me, cause you know, I'm gonna, cause it's a requirement. So yeah, see you guys then. Bye.